Hello and welcome to the Mindset Tutorial Series. This video showcases the What If feature. This visualization has been especially designed to allow the exploration of and interaction with the results of a machine learning algorithm called Naive Bayes Classifier. I will exemplify the use of this classifier on the dataset containing records drawn from the Audubon Society Field Guide to the North American Mushrooms. You can see here in the data tab that this data set contains descriptive information about each mushroom, including whether it is edible or not. We can see that overall, the odds are nearly 50-50. I will demonstrate now how the what-if feature in Mindset can be used to do two things. One, see how edibility of a mushroom is distributed among the remaining descriptors, and two, calculate the probability that the mushroom is poisonous, given a specific description. What if is found in the card menu in the Explore tab and can be invoked either by clicking on the card and selecting a column of interest or by simply dragging the column onto a card. The way this algorithm works is by looking at each variable of the data separately and calculating the distribution of the target variable, in this case edibility across different value ranges within the data. So what you're seeing here is the probabilities of a mushroom being poisonous or not within different categories of the descriptive variables. The variables are listed in decreasing order of importance, that is to say their individual ability to predict edibility. So we can already see that odor is the best way to know if a mushroom will be poisonous. Anise and almond smelling ones are all edible, and fishy smelling ones are best avoided. There is a large portion of the mushrooms, nearly half, that have no odor, and for those we cannot be sure. Say I'm faced with an odorless mushroom and want to know what are the chances it might be poisonous. In other words, what if I have white spore print color, evanescent ring type, and a silky surface above the ring? I can see that its chances of being poisonous are still above 50%, a calculated risk that it's not worth taking, I'd say. Notice that the left-hand side keeps a faded out visualization of the probabilities of the overall dataset for purposes of comparison against the chosen subset. I hope this tutorial helped you understand the output of our patent protected by the visualizer. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website for additional information and more videos on individual features.